are you and what do you guys do here? Hello, my name is Anna Westling. I'm the event manager of Free League, that's Sweden's biggest rope company. And we do a lot of awesome rope games. Awesome. What kind of uh, games do you do? A tabletop RPG. For example, we have Alien here. Alien, the role playing game. If you want to die in space with your friends, <laughs> it's an excellent yes. choice. Lots <laughs> of great images and layout. Uh, we also have a Sverdet Song, or in English, uh, Forbidden Lands. Fantasy role playing game. You can go around. Yeah. We publish role playing games. So. Uh, Someone has an idea of something they want to do, uh, and then we do it. And right now, we've been working a lot with different brands. Uh, we also have soon to come the One Ring, uh, role playing game in Tolkien's Midgård. Oh, lovely! Yeah, it's super nice. Yeah. It's not for sale yet. It's on a boat somewhere, but it will come. Um, awesome. And then, of course, we have the Nordic Creatures role-playing games. So, what we do is basically we hire great writers. I love this image. This is one of my favorite images. We hire great writers and great illustrators. And then we say, hey, we want this game. And this is how... And then people write it and then people play it and have lots of fun with our games. And awesome. I think that's the goal. Yeah. And yeah. like experience different things and like you can act be different people and creatures and so on. Awesome. So yeah, that's uh, one big game for you in a nutshell. Yeah, so what about uh, Comic Con 2021? What's your impression so far? It's been fun. It's lots of... I love all the costumes. We've been here before. Uh, and it's always nice to meet fans and people who, you know, talk to. Because we have, like for example, Mutant here. It's one of our games. It came out in Sweden in the 80s. So now we have both people who played it back then to come back and like this is the we done a, a new version now and want it or talk about their experience so it's great fun meeting our fans but also new people like uh, people who's like what is this what is this role playing and we're like yeah this is how you do it and you just need one book like this and then you will have the rules the world the characters and an adventure and then gather four friends and create magic together. Awesome. So uh, my feeling is that fantasy and sci-fi and horror is something that's really a big thing today. Uh, do you feel that that power is surging into your part of the scene, so to speak? I think so, yeah. I think so. Of course, since geek culture has become bigger in general, it also helps companies as us as they, to exist and be. Um, so yeah, and we have lots of, it's of course fantasy, sci-fi, some more fantasy, sci so it's of course lots of different, this is sci-fi as well, so I think, I think what we say is that we create um, stories in wondrous worlds, that's our tagline. Awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, so this is my, our first time here at uh, Comic Con, uh, I've played role playing games as a kid, like ah. Mutant, and that's in the 80s, so I played nice. this one. Uh, that's a long time ago. Yeah. So I'm quite happy to see that this is not only still existing but also thriving and growing in, a, in an era where uh, digital uh, games are have been like really powerful. So the board games and these games seem to live on. Yeah, and of course, like digital game is awesome, but I do also like this magic feeling. You walk into a classroom or a room with four other people and you create these stories together. There is something magic in the real meeting, which is, of course, since we're, yeah, hopefully the pandemic is starting to be gone, we can go in and do this again together, which I really like. I think that's my passion. Awesome. Thank you very much for Thank talking you. to me. Thank you. Hope, hope to help.